Hi, Bob Gager from Adobe here with this week's installment of Ask Bob, where you can get your Photoshop Elements questions answered. Today's question comes from Kylie Ann Richards. Kylie asks, I have just purchased PSE 10 and would like to know how to make a collage to be able to upload to Facebook. I would like to do two photos side by side with a white border down the middle. Well, Kylie, that's pretty easy in Elements 10, and we're going to use the Create functionality to make that collage for you. So I start off here in my Elements Organizer. Uh, I'm going to change the zoom level here so we can see a bunch of photos at once. And I'm going to make a collage today uh, with some pictures of my cat. So I happen to have uh, tagged uh, my cat Crystal when I put pictures of her into the Elements Organizer. That makes it really easy to search for her. So I just come up to the search bar, uh, type Crystal, and Elements will quickly locate all those pictures of my cat. I can select as many as I want. I'll just select maybe a handful here and maybe these down here as well. And under the Create tab over here, top right, Organize, Fix, Create, I'm going to scroll down to Photo Collage. So select some photos, Shift to Create, Photo Collage. Simple click of Photo Collage will open up the photo collage creation workflow. About all I really need to do is pick what size I want. So 8.5 by 11, 10 and a quarter by 9, 12 by 12, maybe let's make a, a square photo collage. And I have an option to autofill my collage with the selected images. I'll just leave that checked. I'll hit OK and Elements will go about the task of building that photo collage for me. Uh, it'll create the right page size and it'll go ahead and lay out the images that I had selected in the organizer into my photo collage. Now it picked a bunch. I know you wanted uh, two images side by side with a white border down the middle. So all we have to do to get that is over here in the Create tab, switch to Layouts. And we have a number of different layouts. Uh, what you see may differ depending upon which size photo collage you pick. So. 8.5 by 11 will have layouts that are appropriate for 8.5 by 11 and of course 12 by 12 has layouts appropriate for a 12 by 12 uh, creation. So I can scroll down, I can find one I like, I can either double click it or just drag and drop it uh, onto my collage and Elements will go ahead and relay out my collage for me. In this case it dropped three images in, uh, you are after two so I'm just going to select one, hit the delete key and go ahead and say yes I want to delete that layer and now I've got two uh, I can position them side by side which is what I think you are after uh, make them bigger make them smaller put them anywhere I want it's sort of up to me to get as creative as I want to uh, you may not like the green background that we start with so I can switch over to the artwork tab if I scroll all the way to the top of the artwork tab we've got a bunch of different backgrounds uh, and again, it's as simple as a double click or a drag and drop of a background onto my collage and we'll replace, <coughs> excuse me, we'll replace that green background uh, with a brighter one. Maybe I want orange, maybe I want blue. It's kind of up to me to decide uh, what I want my photo collage to look like. I can even use an image as my background. If I come back down here to my project bin, uh, instead of show open files, which is the default setting for this pull down right here, if I click that and say show files selected in organizer, it will show me all those files that I had in my elements organizer selected and I can do something like click on one and use image. Oh, you probably can't see that in the video. Let me make my project bin a little taller so you can actually see it. And I'll right click on it, use image as page background, and it'll actually drop that image right into my page background. Let me make this smaller again so we can see what's going on. If I don't like the two photos that I happen to have here, picking different ones is simple as dragging and dropping a different photo in. And I can zoom in, I can zoom out, uh, I can move it around in the frame, get it exactly as I want it, and click on the green check mark to accept that change. So that's how I would go about making my photo collage. If I wanted maybe some thicker uh, white borders around the around the outside of my two images. I can stay in this artwork tab, scroll down. Uh, after backgrounds we have a bunch of frames. 
Actually, all the way at the bottom of the frames are some white frames. You can see we've got lots of different colors to choose, but let's pick some white ones because that's what you asked for. We've got some thin ones. We've got some thick ones. We've got some with a drop shadow, basic little bevel around it. I kind of like that one. So again, I just drag and drop the frame on, and you can see it swaps out that thin frame with a thicker one with a nice little bevel on it. So that's how we create our photo collage, and then we go ahead and click Done, and Save. Give it a name. Uh, we'll call it uh, Crystal. Oops, let me move that into the middle of the video so we can see what's going on. Make that a little smaller. There we go. Got a bigger screen than I'm actually capturing here. So we'll call that file Crystal. I'll drop it on my desktop. Uh, I'll leave it in Photoshop format because I might want to come back and uh, use the same collage as a template and drop some different pictures in. Uh, and I want to leave Include in Elements Organizer checked. Go ahead and hit Save. It'll save that for me. And then when I switch back to the organizer, this button up here, um, and do Show All, you can see here is the photo, the photo collage that we just created. Now you wanted to share it to Facebook. That's easy too. We'll just click it to select it. Up here where we had Organize, Fix, Create, Share. We'll click on the Share tab. Lots of different ways to share from Photoshop Elements. We'll pick Share to Facebook. I'll go ahead and click on that and Elements will go get ready for me. Pop up a dialog box that looks like this, uh, sharing to Facebook. Uh, one of the things with Facebook is you actually have to give uh, uh, Facebook and Elements permission to talk to each other. So if you haven't done it within uh, 24 hours, you'll see a, a screen that looks like this. So just go ahead and click Authorize, and you will be taken to a Facebook page where if you're logged in, it'll just look like this. You may now close this window to return to the application. If you don't happen to be logged into Facebook, it'll just ask you to log in. So I'll go ahead and close that window. Back in Elements, I can complete authorization. And Elements will go uh, resize that image for me and show it to me just before I actually send it to Facebook. I can either put it in a brand new album uh, or I can pick an album that I've previously created on Facebook. I don't think I have a crystal album yet. Uh, no, I don't. So I'll create a new one and I'll call it crystal. And I can determine who can see it. Why not let everyone see pictures of my cat? And I can pick a standard resolution for a faster upload or if I want a higher resolution image, I can select that as well. And then I just click Upload. Elements will go ahead, resize the file accordingly, push it up into my Facebook account, and then when it's done, it'll actually give me the option to either go back to Elements uh, to do some more editing or organizing, or I can actually click Visit Facebook, and it'll go right to my Facebook page where I can switch over to me, and there is the photo collage that we just created and uploaded to Facebook. So real easy to uh, both create that photo collage as well as share it to Facebook. Hope that answered your question. Uh, give it a try, and uh, hopefully everything will work out just fine for you. Take care.